and welcome, I'm your code monkey. The SSR is full of awesome tools and apps to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for July 25. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next ones I'll be covering paid asset and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. And actually right now, since it's summer, because of that I made a special summer-only bundle containing all my courses. So it contains the Premium C-Sharp course. This one covers everything from beginner to advanced. And each lecture has FAQs, quizzes, and importantly, interactive exercises. These force you to actually put into practice what you're learning, so you make sure you are actually learning. It also includes my Ultimate Unity Overview course, so this is where I explain over 70 tools and features that the engine has. You probably don't know a bunch of these. Then it includes my Dots course. Dots is really awesome. It's for writing code that runs literally 200 times faster. This is really impressive. Then it also includes the premium version of my two multiplayer courses. So one on making a simple game using either netcode for game objects or netcode for entities. Also includes the premium version of my free Kitchen Chaos course and the multiplayer follow-up, as well as my older, but still pretty nice, the Bell of Defender course. Then it's got my visual scripting course if you want to try that out. And I've even included my upcoming Lunar Lander course. This one will be coming out later this month. And just for fun, I also included all nine of my own Steam games. So everything here, all of this contains an insane amount of knowledge. If you go through everything in this bundle, I guarantee you won't be able to make pretty much any game you can think of. This summer bundle, this one is only available for a limited time. If you don't have any of my course yet, then this is a great deal. So check it out in the link description. All right, so on to the top 10 list, starting off with a really fun modular pipe pack. Looking at this one makes me want to build a pipe system, something with sockets where you can attach pipes and build something long and complex. Then you could also add some logic to push fluid onto the pipe and come out the other side. That fluid could be water, it could be lava, it could be literally anything. So I think that could be a really fun weekend project, and you could definitely build that with this free pack. This one includes straights, bends, intersections. You've got some valves, some hot pipes, water pipes, bulging pipes, so really all kinds. In total, 37 pieces. So you could indeed take this to make all kinds of pipe shapes. And if you want to make giant custom crafting stations, then this dev also has a full pack all about that theme. Next, for an interesting tool, here we have the project organizer. This one basically lets you define some file extensions and folders, and with one click, move all those files into the correct folders. Now, personally for me, I always make sure to keep my project organized as I'm building it. I never let it actually become a mess, so I wouldn't necessarily need this tool. But if you don't have that habit, then this can be a really useful and quick cleanup tool. You can just press a button and everything is instantly more organized. You can even include and exclude some folders, just in case you have some special files that are intentionally meant to be in separate folders. This one scans your entire project and finds all files with those extensions. So yep, if you need some more organization, then this is a pretty nice simple tool. Then, if you want to make some real-time water ripples, look at this one. The boat goes around the water and generates some ripples in the water as it moves. It includes multiple types of ripples. They can be object-triggered, they can be mouse-triggered, some raindrop ripples, or even continuous. This is one of those assets that can be great to really just use. If you have any kind of water in your game, this can be nice. Or perhaps, better yet, you can import and inspect it to see how it all works. I've never actually built a system like this myself. I would assume it involves some shaders, maybe a render texture, maybe some compute shaders. So this could be another fun weekend project. Then if you just need some props, here are some fun retro sci-fi computers. So they are retro, meaning they look quite old school, but they're also meant to be futuristic. So kind of like something you would find in something like Star Wars, so a sci-fi movie from the 70s. Personally, I love this art style, super clean lines and solid colors. I think this looks really great. These could be some awesome props for pretty much any kind of stylized sci-fi game. Next, for another fun system, here we have a Objects Rewind system. So this one is another project I'd love to build someday. It's another fun weekend project. The objects fall along with gravity and interact with one another. And as they do that, basically all the positions and rotations are stored. Then with all that data, you can easily rewind and bring the objects back in time. So this could be a fun mechanic in your game. If you're making anything that involves interacting with physics objects, then being able to manipulate them like this can be quite a lot of fun. Next here's an interesting one, it's a kit for making smartwatch games. I have to say that's one area that I've long wanted to research but I've never been able to find the time. I do have a smartwatch and every time I look at it I think it would be nice to make something for it. On this asset, the asset page has a really nice detailed tutorial explaining how to make a build that runs on Wear OS. This package contains basically all the templates and manifest files you need to publish on your watch. So basically this one handles all the technical stuff and then you just have to make a fun game that can fit on a tiny screen. If you have a smartwatch, then maybe take some time to try this out. Then if you want a nice, fun pixel font, look at this one. Getting custom fonts to your game is definitely a great way to polish things. And also, one very important thing is remember how all fonts are not open source. You can't just randomly use a font directly in your game. 
Some of the fonts included with Windows do have a paid license. So using a font like this where you know you can use it, this is a great option. This one would be perfect for any kind of pixel art game or some kind of hacking game. It's got quite a lot of characters, including even Russian, Portuguese, German, and a bunch more. Then if you want even more fonts, then Google actually has a great library with really great licenses. Just search for Google Fonts. Next, here's an interesting small tool. It is called Copy as Text, Hierarchy and Inspector. Basically, this one is a helper tool for those of you that like using AI chatbots. You can select a bunch of objects in your hierarchy. And then this tiny tool basically helps you convert that hierarchy into plain text while keeping all of the parent-children relationships. Then you can take that raw text and just paste it into some kind of AI chatbot to ask questions about objects in your hierarchy. It is definitely an interesting one and can be useful if you use chatbots a lot since the context of the hierarchy can be very important in some scenarios. Or alternatively, you can just use Unity AI itself where their built-in chatbot assistant already has context of your entire project. I made an entire video all about using Unity AI. Then if you work a lot with APIs, here's a simple tool to help you do that. Basically, it helps you create all kinds of requests to interact with pretty much any API you want. You can define the base URL, define the headers, set up the data type, timeout time, you can set up the retry count, and really then just make the request. You can do all of this either through the inspector or through code, and you can even set all that up using some nice scribble objects. So define the URL and all the endpoints and then easily contact them. So yep, if you work a lot with APIs, then a tool like this can definitely be quite helpful. Or if you just want to do HTTP requests, you can check out my CodeMonkey Toolkit asset, where in there I include a really nice web request tool to also help simplify a lot of this as well. And then for a fun visual pack, here we have a nice camping low poly pack. It has quite a few nice stylized meshes. You've got 20 prefabs, so it includes a tent, you've got a campfire, there's a nice log bench, there's some plates, some cutlery, there are some cans, trees, and a bunch more. So this would be a really nice starting pack for some kind of camping simulator, or really just any kind of survival game. All right, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for July 25. There's links to all in the description, and also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.